I'm Laurie McNeil, Master Wildfall Sculptor, Author, and Instructor. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the Gesh Wins New Power Hand 3 Micro Grinder. I'm also going to be demonstrating their new Super Stone Ceramic Rods. I use those to create texture on individual feathers in my carvings. So, today I'm showing you the 800 grit ceramic rod which I have tapered to my own preference. The taper makes it easier for me to um, get a little bit of a curve at the end of my feathers when I'm doing the strokes for the feather barbs. I'll be using the Geshwin Power Hand at 55,000 RPM. As you can see I have a study block with individual feathers carved and sanded which are now ready for texture. I penciled on individual barb lines to give me some guidance as I'm texturing so I don't have to worry about the feather flow as much as I am worried about the quality of the strokes I'm creating with the texturing stone. I carve with the uh, carve, I create the texture on the topmost feather first because it defines what I'm going to be doing with the feather below it. Using a uh, light which is going to cast a shadow allows me to see my work as I'm going along. If you don't have a shadow being cast as you're creating these strokes, you can find yourself going over the same place several times over and over again only to create a deeper cavern than you were really intending. So, using the side of the tapered stone I'm just creating my individual feather barb trying to be as aligned with the next stroke as I am with the first one bringing them right up to the feathers adjacent in the feather tracks again nice long strokes. These ceramic stones work really well. I have a 120 which is the green. I have red which is 1200 grit and then again this is the blue and it is 800 grit. The high speed of the Geshwin allows a really clean cut line every time I touch it to the, to the wood. So my review of both the Power Hand 3 and the Super Stone Ceramic Rods is, I'm giving it all thumbs up because these are uh, wonderful tools. It's creating the detail I'd like to have and I can see uh, my using them uh, in my decorative carvings of the future. So my next demonstration is going to be the true power of the Power Hand 3. I'll be showing you a new study block where I'll be starting from scratch, carving uh, individual feather tracks along with the individual feather um, in each one of them. And then I'll go on to texture those as well in a longer demonstration. But for now, until my next demonstration, keep on carving.